you speak decent Sinhalese as well. Stoti. <laughs> so, Hasaranga is a, is a quality cricketer and I respect him just like every other cricketer a lot. You had a decent start to the series in the ODIs. Third ODI didn't obviously go to plan. Lots of batsmen had trouble against one in Dwasaranga, particularly against the Googly. He's going to captain the side uh, in the three T20s as well. And again, the Googly will be a, quite a big focus. Uh, have you sort of, you know, I mean, discussed on that and uh, chatted about it? Um, so to start with, I think it's, it's not a secret that uh, Hasaranga is a is a quality cricketer and, and and I respect him just like every other cricketer a lot. Um, but I think a lot of those dismissals was down to not as much as lack of skill but I think inexperience. If you've seen that we have brought a very 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 young squad and the good news is that Sean Williams will be joining us but but there's a lot of inexperience in the squad as well and, and Vanundi being a senior guy as well exploited, um, exploited that really well so credit to him for that. Um, we've chatted about it but uh, we trust our boys to that we do possess the skills. Um, it's just a little shift in the mindset maybe try to play the ball and not the baller and uh, I'm pretty confident in T20 series that uh, you'll see a better performance not just against one particular guy but against the whole whole team uh, second uh, what's your confidence of uh, how doing the Sri Lankans what's the confidence you're confident of beating Sri Lanka very high I know the results don't show that uh, but our confidence for me has always come from preparation and I do see that boys are preparing really well sometimes not just sometimes most of the time most of the professional sports are such result oriented sports that the process is never seen because it's done behind the scenes so we are very confident that going into the series and we'll remain confident God forbid whatever the result may be, we'll remain confident that we are here to beat Sri Lanka and, and we'll get our best shot to beat Sri Lanka. We are preparing really well, but sometimes results take time. We've had three ordinary games, but we have prepared really well for those three games and hopefully that preparation will eventually show results. You've been obviously coming here quite a lot. Uh, you played a lot of cricket in Sri Lanka and you speak decent Sinhalese as well. Stoti. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to find out, you know, I mean, were you surprised uh, not to see that many spectators uh, for the ODI series? Um, I think spectators um, are very loyal to every nation, but I think there are also spectators that come with performances. So, you know, if we are playing, if the both countries are playing a decent brand of cricket, we will draw a lot of spectators to the stadium. And I think that should be the goal as well, because without spectators, without fans, this, this sport will not be as popular, as successful, as entertaining to play. So hopefully it's T20 also without saying anything about spectator. Most of the games were weekday games as well. So people have work commitments and family commitments as well. So the first T20 being on a Sunday, I'm expecting it to be a houseful or I'm expecting a lot more spectators to join. Also, sir, uh, nothing against the spectators. There was a lot of rain around. So it must have been hard for those guys as well to watch cricket in rain. So I, I fully understood why there wasn't many spectators on the ground. But the weather seems to be better now. So I'm, I'm very confident because Sri Lanka being a very passionate country about their sports, particularly in cricket. So I'm very confident that it will be a houseful tomorrow.